Hey, and welcome to this section on class components in React. No, don't click away. You're in the right place. This is still a part of the Advanced React course. However, there have been some changes in the career path in terms of React. So let's do a quick history lesson to give this some context. Back in 2018, I created my first version of the Learn React for Free course, which, like all other courses on Scrimba at the time, was a standalone React course. Then, about a year later, I created the React Bootcamp course, which is also known as the Advanced React course, and again, that was a standalone course on Scrimba. After we released the React Bootcamp course, however, Scrimba created the front-end developer career path, and they put the Learn React for Free course as Module 11, and the React Bootcamp course, or the Advanced React course, as Module 12. Well, a few years have passed, and from the time of me recording this right now, I just released a new Learn React for Free course, which is completely replacing the original Learn React for Free course. This new Learn React for Free course goes much deeper into React and has a much different teaching approach than the original course. It includes a bunch of projects, including solo projects and Figma file designs, essentially a bunch of new things that we're introducing to Scrimba in general. One of the side effects of this being a more updated course is that it does solely focus on functional components in React and doesn't actually teach class components the way that the original course did. However, that leaves a little bit of a gap between the new Learn React for Free course and the React Bootcamp, which you're watching now. So the first section you will go through is going to be a sort of onboarding phase to help you come up to speed on class components in React. Okay, sorry for the history lesson, but there certainly are other reasons why you might want to learn what you might call old React. With the release of hooks in React 16.8, there's only a small handful of reasons left to actually use class components in React, but that doesn't mean that they're not worth learning. So besides the fact that you will need to learn them to understand what we're talking about in the Advanced React course, it can be important to learn classes in React because you will oftentimes be working in existing code bases. Sometimes it's really fun to start something completely from scratch, and we get a chance to practice that quite a bit in these courses. But the truth of the matter is when you go out into the wild or you're hired as a developer in React, you oftentimes will be jumping into an existing code base. And unless that code base was using React hooks from the beginning and has never touched classes, you will probably be looking at quite a few class-based components in that code base. Also, as you start to research more about React and have to fix your own bugs and so forth, you'll likely come across some older but still helpful and relevant tutorials that will help you fix whatever bug you're facing. But if you didn't know anything about class components and these tutorials were using class components, you might find yourself a bit lost on the examples that they use. So I don't want that happening to you. And lastly, a great reason to learn class components is because learning is fun. The more you can learn about where React came from in its early days, it becomes a lot easier to understand why React is moving in the direction it's moving in now. I'm excited you're here to take this course. My name is Bob Zerol. I'll be the instructor for this course. I've been trying to be a bit more active on Twitter. If you want, you can click the Twitter icon or my Twitter handle here to go to my profile. I'd love it if you could follow me. And really, all I have left to say is good luck in the course.